Guys, so I've definitely given Nike a pretty hard time recently. But the sneakers on today's list, I gotta be honest, are damn good. So today, I'm going over the top 10 Nike sneakers for 2024. And coming in at number 10, we got the Nike Kobe. So this is not really a specific Kobe sneaker because we're getting so many this year that I thought I'd just bunch them all together. A while ago, Nike mentioned that they're gonna be making a big push to bring back as many Kobe's as possible. And all of that is mainly going down here in 2024. Not only have we seen quite a decent amount already. There's even a drop right around the corner on April the 13th. Three different iconic pairs of Kobe's that are all gonna be coming back. But throughout and later on this year is just gonna be a ton of different new and older Kobe sneakers that are gonna be returning to the market. The only issue with this is that Nike has definitely positioned the Kobe retros as these hyped up super limited sneakers. I don't think that necessarily needed to happen even though understandably they are in very high demand. So this is definitely gonna be the most hard to get sneaker that are on today's list. However, I gotta be honest, seeing Kobe sneakers coming back, especially to people who are huge fans of the sneakers, they're able to actually get a pair, then I think it's a good thing. Coming in at number nine is the Nike Phoenix Waffle. This is one of my favorite $100 sneakers out right now. And I'm also super impressed with how Nike keeps on reiterating the waffle silhouette, but really does a good job with a ton of them. I've liked most of the waffle sneakers that they've brought out in the past two, three years. And this one is definitely no different. In fact, I think that the materials you get on here for a $100 sneaker are pretty solid. Not to mention, you've got a ton of different really nice colorways to choose from, including some upcoming collaborations like the one we saw teased with Fragment that potentially could be dropping this year. I think this sneaker has a lot more to give here in 2024. It's a comfortable shoe, looks great on foot, and I think a very solid option. Coming in at number eight is the Nike D-Book One. This $140 pair of sneakers definitely has its pros and cons. Now, the main con just being the availability of this sneaker Again, Nike deciding to make this more of a hyped up limited shoe. I don't think it necessarily had to be. I mean, the first launch colorway was limited to 500 pairs. They keep on dropping this silhouette on the Nike sneakers app rather than the just regular Nike app. Nike, you've got enough hyped up super limited collaborations. Just give us a break here. The pros are, well, I mean, it's a very good pair of sneakers. It mixes a performance basketball sneaker with the lifestyle element very, very well. It's definitely not a futuristic design like how Adidas is going forwards with their basketball sneakers. It definitely blends elements of like the Nike Dunk or the Air Force One into it. Nevertheless, it's a comfortable pair of shoes, very well made also. It's got decent material on the upper, a very nice padded ankle collar, and I think a great pair of sneakers for 2024, especially when they become more accessible. Coming in at number seven is the Nike Zoom Vomero 5. Now, these have to be the king of retro style runners that Nike has, and it's definitely been up there for the past few years. And it's just a very well done done pair of sneakers. There's definitely no surprise why Nike decided to bring these things back. Pretty much everything you would want with a sneaker like this. Very comfortable, a plethora of really nice colorways. I do, however, think it's a little bit pricey at $160. I feel like they could have brought that price down just a little bit. But to give it credit, it is solid in terms of quality. Now, even though this has definitely been up there as one of the more hyped Nike sneakers, I still think we're going to see a ton more from this sneaker model here in 2024. Overall, it's a solid everyday sneaker, super versatile as well. So another great option. Coming in at number six is the Nike Journey Run. So this is a brand new Nike silhouette that just launched a couple weeks ago. A $90 good looking Nike sneaker that has all new cushioning called Comfy Ride. Of course, I was going to check these things out. I wasn't expecting much going into this because, well, one, they're $90 and uh, Nike is not typically known for over delivering. But of course, they really surprised me on so many levels. First off, the quality really is not bad. It's very comparable to other Nike sneakers that cost like double the price. They're also very comfortable. The midsole isn't as squishy as I would have hoped it was. Nevertheless, this is easily one of the most comfortable sneakers that you can buy at this price point. I highly recommend checking these things out. I actually even think that these things are a better option than the Pegasus 40s, which I mean, I really like. They've been on my last list of best Nike sneakers, but Nike didn't really do too much with the Pegasus 40 compared to the 39, so I kind of feel like this is a better affordable alternative to a daily sneaker that you can wear and be super comfortable in. Coming in at number five, we got the Nike Air Max 186 Sport Royal. We got another classic in here. And yes, it was just last month on Nike Air Max Day that they decided to bless us with a brand new colorway of the Air Max 186 or Big Bubble. This is basically Nike bringing back the original design of the Air Max 1. So it has the nice big air unit in the midsole. And even though they brought the OGs back last year, the red pair, I actually feel like I prefer this blue colorway. Overall, this model is just 
just such a cool pair of sneakers to have, especially if you are an Air Max fan. They're not dramatically different from a regular Air Max one, especially when you're actually wearing them on foot. There's almost no difference. So you're mainly getting these for the sheer fact that they are an OG model. And a piece of history for Nike and the Air Max line. Now, a lot of places have actually sold out of this pair of sneakers, but if you have a little look around, you can definitely find some retailers that are still selling them. Coming in at number four, we got the Nike Air Max DM. So this is the latest flagship Air Max model from Nike that, again, they just launched on Air Max Day. And even though it may not be the insane leap in innovation that Nike is marketing it as, it's still a very good sneaker. I just wouldn't allow all of the fancy buzzwords that Nike is using for this pair of shoes to confuse you. I, I feel like it's very much just a Air Max sneaker that you have know and you probably love. Now, it is very comfortable on foot. I don't think this dynamic air unit is really the craziest thing. It kind of just feels like any other regular Air Max. But again, I don't want to sound like I'm hating on this sneaker because I do like it a lot, mainly because of how it looks. Super futuristic and just a nice design. The upper has this really cool rubberized dotting all over it, which feels super good, but also looks really cool as well. Immediately at launch, they dropped a ton of different colorways on this, and we've even already seen a Supreme collab. So I'm almost certain that this model is going to have a big year here in 2024, and I think a great silhouette to consider. A couple honorable mentions. First up, the Nike P6000. I completely understand that this is a decently popular model, and it's also pretty affordable. However, I just feel like the quality on this pair just doesn't feel that great in hand. It almost feels a little bit cheap. Another honorable mention, the Nike Vimero 17. This is an insanely comfortable pair of shoes. Nike combined Cushlon 3.0 with Zoom X cushioning, which if you don't know, Zoom X is just, it's unbelievably comfortable. For the price tag, I definitely think that this is worth it, especially if you're looking for a super comfortable pair of sneakers. Last honorable mention, the Drake Nocta Hot Step 2. This one, unfortunately, is a very expensive model. That's why it's down here in the honorable mentions, but I think it looks super cool. The nice new silhouette from Nike and Nocta. For now, there's only this orange colorway, but we're definitely going to be seeing a lot more here in 2024. Coming in at number three, the Nike Invincible Run 3. I've spoken about this sneaker so many times. It's made most of my top list since it originally released earlier last year. I typically don't include sneakers that were on last year's list into the new one, unless they're still the best option, which this one definitely is. They are just one of the most comfortable sneakers on the planet. Insane cushioning underfoot that really does just feel like nothing you've ever tried on. I will admit they are very expensive at $190. However, a main component of why they're still on this list here in 2024 is the fact that they are now a lot more accessible and a lot more affordable this year. Oftentimes you can find the Invincible Run 3, especially at different retailers on sale, which makes them even more of a compelling option. Maybe Nike is planning a fourth iteration on this model. That's why they're going on sale. And if so, I'm definitely hyped to check that one out. Coming in at number two, we've got the Nike Pegasus 2005. So back in October last year, Nike leaked a bunch of their upcoming sneakers planned for 2024. And the two silhouettes that really caught my eye was the Air Sunder Max and the Nike Pegasus 2005. Along with the Pegasus 2K5, we're also getting a Pegasus New Wave, which those look insane and I'll definitely test them out when they do release. But for now, this Pegasus 2K5 is a really, really nice pair of sneakers that looks pretty damn good. So far, because they have just kind of released, there isn't too many colorways to choose from, but obviously that is only going to get expanded on as we move throughout 2024. They come with a full length air unit in the midsole combined with pretty decently soft cushioning, so they turn out to be a very comfortable sneaker as well. Overall, it's a very comfortable daily pair of sneakers, which I think is the best retro style runner that Nike is offering here in 2024. Coming in at number one is the Nike Ishod Wear 2. This is one of my absolute favorite new Nike models from this year. They only just dropped literally in January, so there's not that many colorways to choose from. I think they've released a couple more since they originally released, but it's definitely not the widest range. This is definitely one of the more interesting models for a couple different reasons. First off, they're very affordable at $110. They have a great design, which really did freshen up the Ishod Wear model for the better. And the air unit component that's with this pair of shoes is not actually in the midsole like typical Air Max sneakers. It's actually been placed on the insole itself, so it is actually removable. These are much more comfortable than your standard skate shoes. And Nike looks like they're going to be expanding on this silhouette with some upcoming collaborations. We just got teased that there's going to be a Verdi one this year, so I'm really excited to see what happens for this model. It's a great pair of shoes and definitely one of the best Nikes for 2024. Guys, let me know what you think of my list down in the comment section and click over there for the top 10 Adidas sneakers for 2024.